Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Redrock and I'm a virtual photographer. Uh, and I, I love really I really love taking photos in, in Forza Horizon, so I thought today we would take some photos of this uh, RX8, this Mazda RX8. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and paint and modify this car and, and then we're gonna go find some cool locations and take some really cool shots and show some some of the editing process that I go through to make make the photos just like pop a little bit extra. If you guys are new here and you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that sub button. Uh, it helps me to grow and it helps support what I love doing, which is making awesome content for you guys. So yeah, let's go paint this car. 400 meters. So let's do paint first. I'm kind of a fan of like very clean, clean looking paints. Um, so I don't usually put like designs or anything on the car, uh, but sometimes that can be pretty cool. Uh, let's see what color works here. I like to use a two-tone paint or the flaked paint, should I say, um, just because it adds a little bit of depth and a little bit of uh, variation to the color. And it also is very, very reflective, which it just makes everything look a little nicer. All right, I think I'm, I'm liking this red. It is fairly similar to the stock paint, but it is going to be a little bit more reflective. Uh, and there's a little bit more depth to it as well. So yeah, let's see how this works out. I also like to darken the windows a bit. And I think we're going to go with uh, black rims and Again, using the flaked paint, so they're relatively reflective. All right, saving that to the current car. I quite like these uh, these race brakes with the red calipers. We're also going to lower the car. Personally, I'm not really a fan of the Horizon tires. So I'm going to go with these four tires because I think that matches the car the best. I think we're going to go with uh, these rims. Now, we don't have a lot to choose from here. But I think we are going to go with these, uh, with this Ings Street front bumper. We're going to keep the stock rear wing because I don't really like the Forza wing. And we'll just match that uh, rear bumper to the front bumper. Okay, so now we need to go and find some cool spots to go and take photos. I think we're going to head over to the train yard. Alright, so here's the first shot. And what we're going to do is actually hit A to take the photo. And then once it's finished processing, we're going to hit back. We're going to hide the UI. And then I'm using NVIDIA, uh, in the NVIDIA capture, screenshot capture. Um, but you can use any, any screenshot capture method that you want. And the reason we process the photo first is just because it adds a little bit of extra detail and whatnot. So I actually have an idea, but I'm going to have to set up a Super 7 to do it. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I set up the Super 7 and I've just set it to be sunrise so we get some really nice lighting. And what I'm going to actually try and do is if I go into the Blueprint Builder, I'm going to open up this, I'm going to pick this ramp. And this might look a little weird at first, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ramp right here, straight up. And this is basically going to allow me to get the camera up higher than it normally would be able to get. So I'm just going to clone it. And I usually find about three to be a good height because you don't want to go too high because the shadows and stuff stop rendering if you go too high. All right, and this does not have to be perfect. So my idea is you can kind of see in this mode I can go like pretty high up already. I want to I want to get a shot where I'm shooting through the roof of one of these. Might set up another ramp over here because it might work better over here. All right. So I'm just gonna name this Master RX8. Shoot. 
And important is you want to adjust the time limit and give yourself enough time to actually drive around and see what works. I'm just going to max this out quickly. Okay, it's published and now I'm going to attempt it and then it will allow me to go into photo mode. All right, so you can see now I can actually go up this ramp and I can get a little bit higher up than I normally can. Okay, and what you can do is you don't need to sit on this ramp. You can actually move off the ramp and you should not fall off. There's a bigger gap over here. Let's try this. And frame things up a little bit. If you have issues where the motion blur is not kicking in, just like go a little bit higher and then it should kick in. Or a little bit lower if you're at max height or the lowest you can go. That usually fixes it for me. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's process that photo. Now you also don't want to make these ramps too far away from where your car is because you can only travel a certain distance away from your car. But keep that in mind when you're placing your ramps. You kind of want to plan out where you're going to take photos before you take the photos. Okay, so actually, wow, I set that up perfectly. Yeah, I think that actually is pretty cool. I like these kind of top-down shots. I'm actually going to make this a vertical shot just to cut out that ramp that we built in the background. Just going to make sure that the pole doesn't clip with the back of the car. Eight hours later. All right, guys, so we've got these photos up in Lightroom now. And I'm going to quickly do a quick before and after on I think the four best photos from from what we took today and then quickly walk through what I did to each photo okay so this is the before and this is the after I think you can see there's a lot more going on in the photo now and essentially what I did was I lowered the black level a little bit raised the white levels raised the shadows dropped the highlights increased the contrast and bumped the exposure up a little bit little bit and then added some contrast to the colors with the point curve by just making a simple S curve in all of the colors. I then actually lowered the saturation a little bit because it was a bit oversaturated. And I messed with the yellow, orange, and red colors just a bit to kind of get the colors that I wanted. I then added a bunch of blue into the shadows to get more contrast between the background and the car itself, as you can see there. I added more red to the midtones just to keep that car nice and red. And the same with the highlights. I then added a little bit of dehaze. And then the big thing is that I added these radial filters, uh, sorry, gradient filters into the image. So this one on the right just adds a bunch of light. And this one actually darkens the image a little bit. So you get this kind of nice cross uh, contrast that draws your eye into the car. And then I added a radio filter on the car itself just to brighten the car and add some clarity and some pop to the car. And then essentially these other images do exactly the same thing. Uh, slightly different tweaks, um, but the same kind of principles. I'm not going to go through all of that again. Uh, but here you can see the before. And here you can see the after. And this one actually came out really nice. So this is the before. You can see it's quite flat. And the same idea, I just kind of added, made this area darker, made this area lighter. And, you know, bumped the exposure on the car a little bit. And it just makes everything kind of very, very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and then the final image here is the before. You can see it's also quite flat. And that is the after. So I think you can see the power of selective edits right there. Um, they really, really do add a lot to your image. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please do let me know what you think of the photos down below. Did you like them? Didn't you like them? Do you think they could be better? Uh, any and all feedback is always welcome. I also just, just want to mention that I post a lot of photos up on Instagram. Uh, the links are down below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, once again, I would really appreciate the like and subscribe. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.